Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and today I'm going to show you this pretty smoky eye. I haven't done one of these in a long time, but I always love a dramatic and bold look, so I'm really having fun with this. I really love the eye shape that this gives me. I think it's really fun and really pretty. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. If you do, please like, comment, and subscribe. I always appreciate that. And I'm just going to get right to it. Enjoy. I'm going in with the 35i Icy Fantasy by Morphe and I'm using Sky High, sweeping it all over my lid as a beautiful transition shade. This is a really soft, pretty color, so it's perfect for using it to transition. And I'm doing a really dramatic look, so I want this to really blend nicely. Next, I'm picking up the shade Avalanche and I'm applying this to my crease, mainly keeping it in the outer corners. Now I'm going in with e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer in Medium Peach and I'm applying this onto my lid. I'm not doing a super sharp cut crease, but uh, I am just using this to apply shimmer shadow. And I'm going in with Rosy Haze and I'm applying this all over the concealer. Now I'm using the Fierce by Nature palette by Morphe and I'm using the shade Smolder to create a little bit of a smoky liner and I'm really doing exactly the name of the shadow and smoldering my eye look out and I'm actually going to use um, like a triangle shape here because I really want to create like a winged out flared out eye. I'm not going to be using lashes in this look so I really want to create some drama and this kind of angular look is going to give that to me. And I'm just blending out where I applied smolder and really smoking it out. Now with the same palette I'm going to be using the shade smoked out and sorry i didn't pay attention to angles in this video at all i was in la la land while filming so ignore me when i make all these weird faces and don't pay attention to where the camera is but i am smoking out this look applying some drama with this dark deeper black and i'm really just gonna blend 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 and smoke this out because i really want it to be a smoky look count how many times i say smoky and comment below if you want because this is going to be the smokiest look yet now i'm going in with euphoria from the icy fantasy palette and i'm really just brightening up the rosy haze i really just wanted a little bit more drama here now i'm just blending everything in really well and i'm starting to push these deeper shades in with a clean brush i'm just really pulling that black that's already there in and creating a pretty shade going back in with the fierce by nature palette i'm going in with tempton and trance and i'm going over my transition shade again and this is just kind of diffusing it a little bit more and really making it soft so I'm really going back and forth with the palettes today because I'm going back to Icy Fantasy and using Cosmic Cool under my eye. This is a really pretty shimmer shade and it adds a little bit of drama. So now I'm just going to clean up all this fallout with this smoky look. You want to clean up the fallout and do your eyes first. Sorry guys, I completely skipped eyeliner. It was just one of those days filming wise. Um, but now I'm just going to put on some concealer and I am using the e.l.f. 16 hour concealer again and I'm putting on a pretty good amount today, just one of those days and I'm going to blend that in with a flat brush. After letting it sit and get a little tacky, I am going in and blending it out with a beauty blender and just really buffing it in. Now I'm going in with Morphe setting powder and I'm not baking, I'm really just applying a light little coating of powder. 
I'm using L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation and I'm mixing two shades because my chest is a little tanner. So I'm using 450 and 505 and really pushing this in. I know it looks like I'm putting on a way darker shade on my face and my chest because I am, but you'll see it blends into the rest of my skin when it's done. Now I'm going in with L'Oreal True Match Powder and Cappuccino and I am just going to give myself my usual contour. I am using a Sigma Prism or 4D Kabuki brush and I am going to blend everything out really well. I'm going in with Flower Beauty Blush, excuse me for holding it upside down, and this one is in Wild Rose. I'm just sweeping this on to the apples of my cheeks and I'm slightly blending this shade up because it is a pretty bold color. Brush, I'm just blending everything together. And I'm gonna contour my nose with the same powder I used to contour my face and really just doing nice thin lines and blending it up into my brows to create an elongated nose. I'm just gonna highlight right down the center with some concealer. And I'm just going to use a blending brush and just start to lightly blend out that nose contour. Once the concealer is set, I'm going to blend everything together with leftover foundation on my Beauty Blender. And I'm going to go in with ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in Monster. And I'm going to put it on my nose and on my cheekbones because I love a glazed donut look. Gorgeous. Look at that shimmer. Don't forget to stop and check yourself out. And I'm putting the highlighter on my inner corner of my eye. Next, I'm using Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. And this is just going to give me lots of volume and lengthen, which is perfect for this look. Next, I'm using NYX Lingerie Push-Up Lip. And I'm just going to line my lips with this. And I like to do a little bit of a contour. And it's just the perfect shade to contour your lips with this as well. With Kylie's Liquid Lip in Coco K. I'm just applying the shade from the center up into the liner. Now it's on the hair. And I'm just going in really quickly with my Bioionic Style Wand Curler, which I love. So here we have it, the final look. I really love this dramatic smoky eye, but it's still something that's super pretty and wearable. I feel like you can wear this really anywhere you want to, even though it's a lot of makeup and it's super dramatic. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you like my videos and want to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe below. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!